good evening. Tonight I'm unboxing my March Art Snacks and Sketch Box. My Art Snacks just came in the mail today. My Sketch Box came in earlier this week. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with how this goes, um, I unboxed the two of them. Um, and I go over the card, I go over the contents. If you're interested in prices or um, demonstrations, you need to read the blog for more. It's natosoup.blogspot.com. So let's get started with my March sketch box. It is this lovely drawing of a lotus or a water lily by um, Megan Clark. Her Instagram is Clark Paper and Knife. Her Etsy is Clark Paper and Knife at Etsy.com. And it says that it was made with materials from the February box exclamation point. And I kind of thought all of the box art had to be done with exclusively the materials from the boxes. Like, I thought that was, like, the thing. So, inside this box, we have a postcard print. And this is by Nikki Laxar. And the card says, Hi, I'm Nikki Laxar. I was born and raised in the beautiful, eclectic state of Vermont. I've always had a fascination with the animal world and anything artistic. Most of my work com involves combining the two in a very whimsical way. I'm a self-taught artist who enjoys learning new ways to bring my wit my vision to life through every new piece. I primarily enjoy working with watercolor and ink. I really love the process of bleeding color onto paper and letting it trail off with just a little guidance. Layering ink on top of the paint allows me to really express my vi vision and stitch more, stitch more detail into the overall piece, letting the paint strokes guide my pen. Aside from my watercolor illustrations, I enjoy working with my clients to create realistic pet portraits, logo designs, and tattoos. I'm into anything earthy, natural fibers and textures, thrift stores, repurposed art, kitty snuggles, the moon, and many things that most people find odd and creepy. Check out more of Nikki's art at NikkiLaxar.com, on Instagram at Nikki.Laxar.art, or her Etsy page, NikkiLaxar.Etsy.com. We're so thankful for the talent that Nikki shared with us. If you'd like to get your art featured, email an example of your work to us at info at GetSketchbox.com. So that's Nikki's card. And before I take a look at what in the April box. I'm going to go ahead and dig through it. And my April box has a lot of cat toy. So I'll put this aside. There's actually a lot of stuff in this box. A lot of different things which I am excited about. So there's a sketch box sticker. There is a Simply Simmons round and uh, it looks like a synthetic, but it looks like a pretty good synthetic in four. There is a Pigma FB, so that's their fine tip. There's, oh, there's three Pigmas, right on. A Pigma MB, that's their medium brush. And the Pigma BB, which is the big brush. And I think I have a review of the Pigma MB on my blog. I think I took a look at it a few months ago. But now I have the set, so that's pretty cool. There's also a Prismacolor in PB19, which is canary yellow, which is, I think, one of the Prismacolor colors I don't yet have in my collection. So this is actually a really exciting sketch box for me. And there's also a bottle of this beautiful tangerine colored India ink. So, um, so far, I am actually really excited about this sketch box. I think it's one of my favorites. Um, there are quite a few things I could do with this box. So right on, sketch box. Now let's take a look at the art snacks. The March art snack, oh, you know what? I didn't read the card that came with the sketch box, so let's rewind a little bit. April basic box. So earlier I said these were the March boxes. I was wrong, I had a brain fart. My brain is still in March, it's actually for April. Basic box, this month is a unique take on ink. We included Dr. P.H. Martin's Bombay India ink. This ink can be used with a brush to create vibrant washes of color. You'll also find a Simply Simmons round brush to dip in and paint with the ink. To add color beyond the India ink, we included a Prismacolor brush marker. These markers are highly sought after for their flexible nib that allows you to control the size of your strokes simply by adding more or less pressure. They also have a fine nib for detail work. You'll find all three sizes of Sakura's Pigma Professional Brush Pins. These durable brush nibs were specially developed to provide a fantastic bounce and memory over long periods of use. They respond to instant changes in pressure or direction with a silky smooth, accurate, and consistent ink flow. The deep black archival quality Pigma ink won't smear, feather, or bleed through most papers. Have fun exploring your new art supplies and remember to tag your art with Sketchbox April if you'd like to be included in our monthly contest. The winner gets their art printed on a future box lid. 
so now we can take a look at the art snacks. We have a wrap package, and when I shook it, it sounded very much like pencils, but I did not open it. Um, Sour Patch Kids candy, save that for later. A sticker, put that aside. And I'm not going to read the card just yet. I'm gonna take a look at what's inside the package. And this is the first time in a few months where everything sent to me, all of my art snacks were sent, whoa, were sent to me in a, single container. I got distracted because I'm like, look at all the cool stuff right on. That's so cool. I like both boxes this month. I guess you guys can kind of tell like what I prefer to get. Watercolor stuff, marker stuff, inking stuff. So I'm excited about both boxes. So we've got a Marvy LaPlume fine brush. What? Oh, these are alcohol based. This is kind of cool. This is like a pit pin size LaPlume. I'm going to end up ordering a bunch of these, aren't I? Because that's cool. So, that's cool. And a Sakura Koi coloring brush. And I actually have a review for these on the blog, natosoup.blogspot.com, if you're interested in hearing my thoughts about this specific product. But I actually think I don't have this color, so that's cool. Uh, an Iron Lock alcohol marker. Um, and I have been aware of Iron Lock for a while. Um, I have not purchased any or reviewed any just yet so it's pretty cool to get a like kind of a sneak peek for me of whether or not this marker is even worth buying so I'm excited about that as well and I got a Faber-Castell 900 jumbo in 8b which is a very dark a very dark um lead very soft lead and it looks like you need a jumbo pencil sh pencil sharpener to send it uh gosh jumbo pencil sharpener to sharpen it but fortunately a few months ago like february maybe march i got that coom sharpener through art snacks that was a, a dual hole sharpener that has a jumbo uh, setting and i think my sketch box um the month they did pencil colors also had a jumbo setting and i also got a kuratake it looks like a brush pin and i love kuratake products i use a lot of kuratake products so i am super psyched about both boxes to be honest like this this is what i want guys and the pin is in a really cool color. I would be even more excited if the ink was this color, but I don't expect it to be, but it would be really great if it was. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and read the card. All right, so Iron Lock Strikers Twin Marker, $3.99 retail. Your Iron Lock Strikers Twin Marker comes to you all the way from Australia. This refillable marker offers smooth ink application from its broad and fine points. Its uniquely designed airtight cap helps keep this marker from drying out. The triangular barrel will keep this one from rolling away, but we doubt you'll be putting it down anytime soon. And that was $3.99 retail. Oh, are they including riddles now? Oh, they're including riddles now. I got just I got distracted by the top. The top looked different. I'll read the riddle to you when I finish reading the card. Cur oh yeah, it is metallic. Ha! Kuratake metallic brush pin, seven ninety two retail. And I have to admit, I don't know that I've seen these. These have not yet crossed my my notice. Um, and I I research Kuratake products pretty often. Um, and it could just be negligence on my part, or I might have just missed it, or it might have been on the Japanese site. But either way. I'm really excited. It is so cool when one of these boxes is able to send me something I haven't actually seen yet. And believe me, I've seen a lot of stuff. I've been reviewing these things for like seven plus, oh no, six plus years, hitting seven this year. Um, so that's $7.92 retail. It's a staff favorite. We fell for the Kuratake metallic brush pin at first stroke. This Japanese import handles like a paintbrush and delivers a metallic mark with a subtle shimmer. Use it to add highlights or rely on it for rich color throughout your piece. Then there is the Faber-Castell 9000 Jumbo Pencil, 320 retail. This oversized Faber-Castell 9000 Jumbo Pencil is comfortable to handle thanks to its thick barrel. Notice how smoothly it lays down graphite. It's designed to be extra break resistant. The water-based varnish makes for a good environmental choice too. 
Then there is the Le Plume permanent brush marker, and these are made by Marvy. It's 260 retail, so I could definitely see myself getting a few more of these um, in very specific colors, especially if they play well with Copics because it's got a pit pen size nib, so this would be phenomenal for fine details. Plume is French for feather, and the name suits the soft, delicate Le Plume permanent brush pen. Use a soft touch for a finer application. A firm touch will lay down more color. The brand, Marvi Uchida, produces this pen in a staggering 144 colors. So there's actually a lot more where this came from, which means my bank account will cry. Um, <laughs> Sakura, oh, I'm sorry, Koi Coloring Brush Pin by Sakura, 250 retail. The first thing you'll notice as you try out the, so the Koi Coloring Brush Pin by Sakura is the unique handling of the tip. It offers a softness of a brush pin combined with the firmness of a marker tip. Use your new pen for outlining, coloring, or both. The versatile tool will quickly become go -to, a go-to for your ink projects. So the riddle is, where does a cow hang its paintings? In a museum. <laughs> Take the art snacks challenge. Use all the products in your box to create an original piece of art. Snap a photo, a picture of your artwork, and share it on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram with the hashtag hashtag Art Snacks Challenge. Like a product, order more. Visit Art Visit artsnacks.co slash products. Support at artsnacks.co, www.artsnacks.co. So, this month, I got two really cool boxes. I am probably horrifically biased because I am a watercolorist and I do a lot of marker stuff and I do a lot of pen and ink stuff and I have reviewed so many food day pens. So like these are all things that I'm familiar with and that I like using and that I would pick up in a store if I saw them. So I am really excited about both boxes. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pick a favorite this month. Um, this was my unboxing video. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see me demonstrate these products, please make sure you check out my blog, natosoup.blogspot.com, where I'll post more videos and more information about everything shown here in this particular video. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy content like this, you owe a little minute of thanks to my Patreon backers because they unlocked this tier. Thank you so much to my Patreon backers for your fantastic support. You guys are amazing. Um, if you enjoy content like this, please make sure you subscribe to this channel for even more Sketchbox vs. Art Snacks unboxings, as well as tutorials, reviews, and demonstrations. I'm Becca Hilburn. I hope you guys have a great evening. Goodbye!